What about you? Is there still an Imperial transport on the landing platform? Yes, but I think the pilot might be dead. And what makes you think I need a pilot? Juno, I found what we're looking for. Excellent. I can be at the drop-off point in. <laughs> Not just yet. I need to disable the skyhook before we leave. I don't suppose I could talk you out of that. Probably not. Right. Well, I'll see what I can do from here. Be careful. I'm picking up Imperial chatter. You've got snipers in the nests above you. Go! Can we just, can we just say, Starkiller was totally blushing in that cutscene with Leia. And you win it. Leia's awesome. I love Leia so much. She's one of the most badass Star Wars characters ever. Because, yeah, she was the princess who needed to be saved in the original movie. But she takes control of her own rescue mission. That's like the most badass thing in the history of anything ever. Ah, uh, okay. One thing that I absolutely love about Star Wars is you get some really badass girls in these series. You got Ahsoka, you got Padme, you got Leia, you got Rey. I don't care what anyone says, Rey is awesome. It's just... Oh man, we get to see Leia in this game too and it's super awesome. Bit of a spoiler for future games though that we probably won't cover on the channel ever. That's probably the last time we'll ever see Leia in an environment that I actually kind of like. So just let me know right now because what they do with Leia later in the game series, I'm not too fond of. So I believe we, I think we missed a couple holocrones back there. I'm a little worried that we did because I'm looking at my notes and I haven't seen this one area that it's talking about. So if we did, that's unfortunate. I don't particularly care that much, but knowing that we missed them, it's going to bother me. How you feel about getting evaporated? <laughs> okay. Um, he was supposed to spawn in another area. Um, okay. He was supposed to spawn before, but he. All right, that was a that was an amusing thing. This game is glitchy. Would you go away? There we go. Can we push you into the thing, please? I'm asking nicely. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay. This right here. Okay. That right there is like my favorite quick time event fail ever. He's like, ugh, get away from me. No, you're going to get a hug and you're going to like it. <laughs> Although snapping a neck seems a little bit morbid for a Star Wars game, I'm gonna say that right now. It's a little weird because we've had other Star Wars deaths, including things like, you know, falling in lava and getting decapitated and getting impaled. So, you know, maybe this next snap probably isn't that bad, but at the same time, it seems a little out of place for Star Wars. Imperial Evo Trooper. Every time I see the guy's name, I'm thinking that the person who is the stormtrooper was like a like was like a professional melee player or something like that. It's kind of amusing because like Starkiller has been in a fighting game before. I will talk about this a bit later in the series, but Starkiller was did appear in Soul Calibur, I believe. I think it was Soul Calibur. It was either three or four. I remember which one exactly. Top man. Um, I want to say. Or that sounds correct. They did a really cool thing where, um, okay, Soul Calibur has some of the coolest guest characters ever. Um, Soul Calibur 2 had console exclusive characters where Link was the character on GameCube, and uh, later in the series they had, I think Starkiller was on both versions, and Vader was the Xbox 360 character, and Yoda was the on PlayStation 3. I might, I, might got, I might have that backwards off the top of my head. But again, we'll go into more details a bit later in the series. But the really cool thing was that they had Star Wars characters in Soul Calibur. I would love to see, like, a proper Star Wars fighting game at some point. There was one on the PlayStation. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's widely regarded one of the worst fighting games of all time. And I'm just thinking, okay, you didn't do so great the first time. 
give the idea another chance. A Star Wars fighting game would be the coolest thing in the world. And it'd be a really cool way to, like, bring characters from different parts of the Star Wars timeline. Because the tricky thing about Star Wars is that these stories are set decades, sometimes centuries apart from one another. So it could be pretty difficult to come up with a compelling story where, let's say, like... Let's say Darth Maul is able to meet Kylo Ren or something like that, even though they're like 90 years apart from each other on the timeline or something. But, just, I just really, really want to see like a Star Wars fighting game. I think that'd be like one of the coolest things ever. Uh, do you know I'm gonna need a little help here? Just a moment. Proxy's accessing the schematics now. Master, if you can disrupt that tractor beam, the shockwave might be enough to destroy the skyhook. I would start by disabling the traction hooks, but I should warn you, it will be violent. Well, now this is a surprise. A Jedi. I've always hoped to be able to hunt one of your kind. <laughs> Going back into my first playthrough of this game, I did not understand who was talking at that point. He sounds like General Coda, so I thought that it was Coda saying that he'd always wanted to hunt a Jedi, and I'm like, wait, what? What? Was he a bad guy? Is General Coda a bad guy? Oh my god, that's a plot twist! Why is the game passing it off as if it's not the- I was talking about the- it was the wrong character. But still, like- I didn't get that Starkiller was trying to be a Jedi at this point. All I knew was that I got a blue lightsaber holocron, I changed it for one cutscene, for one level, and then all of a sudden, like, all the cutscenes are showing him with the blue lightsaber, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe they changed the cu lightsaber cutscene color thingies based on what you have in-game. That wasn't the case. I never changed it back from blue. So, I didn't realize that Starkiller was trying to be a Jedi. I was an idiot! <laughs> Alright, so uh, the big thing that I recommend you do in this area, our main objective is to use the force grip to get those lightning rods away from the area. I recommend you don't touch them at all until you clear the area of enemies. There's only like a finite of them in this area anyway, so it's not like one of the situations where there's going to be like a bunch of them repeating over and over and over again. So I highly recommend that you take them out before you do anything else. Because once you get that second one taken care of, something is going to be coming in this area. It's not bad on its own, but it can be it can be pretty difficult to deal with if you're unprepared. Okay, I think that's good enough to... Ah, no, there's one more for a trooper. Ooh, damage increase. That's exciting. You have some pretty useful holocrons in this area, so that's definitely something that's pretty nice. I would love to see a run of this game without any holocrons at all. Maybe someday. Nice work. That's it! Just a few more, Master! Are you ready, Jedi? I'm tired of hunting these filthy Wookiees. This is the reason why I recommended that you take care of the enemies before you go for the Skyhook generator things. Because if you don't do that, you're going to be dealing with an ATSD at the same time as all this other garbage. Crap, 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 crap. We only have a pixel of health left! That is bad. That is very, very bad. Okay, that was good. Alright, let's do this. We missed. Okay, that's not super ideal. But let's get behind him and do a zappy! Okay, we got this. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We so got it! I behind him. I behind him. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. We got this, we can do it, 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 we can have the Cinderella. Okay, we're in a good pattern. We are in a good pattern, we can do this. We can do it. 
I believe in dreams. I believe in cookies and ice cream. Okay, 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 let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! That was epic. I am very proud of us all for getting that first try. There's another stormtrooper over there, and I'm so glad that you didn't go any closer to us, because if you showed up, if either of you showed up and destroyed our one precious pixel of health, I would not have been a happy gator. I would not have been a happy gator, but now I am a happy gator because dreams do come true. And we got this. We got one more skyhook. Uh, mooring. Whatever that goes. Mooring ping. What's a mooring pin? I don't know. But we take care of it. Yay! Was she? Princess Leia Organa. Her father is Bail Organa. My contact in the Senate. I want to talk to him. You can't. I just rescued his daughter on a planet overrun by stormtroopers. You can't talk to him because I can't find him! He's gone missing, boy. What? When? Bail tried to recruit me to rescue Leia. I refused. And he went in search of another Jedi, Master Shock T. I told him it was too dangerous, but the fool went anyway, alone, and vanished as soon as he landed on Volusia. The Force is strong in you, my boy. To be able to sense my thoughts. You're just easy to read, old man. Well, then you should already know our next mission. We're going to Felucia to rescue Senator Organa. Eat up, Senator. Why are you keeping me here, Maris? Your master would be disgusted with you. You're something to trade if Darth Vader finds me. Now shut up and eat. And if you're thinking of escaping, just remember that my new pet is very hungry. Mm -hmm. 